Recently, there was another clown who got canned from CNN, but his departure went completely unnoticed. And I don't think that's fair because in the rare instances when they allowed him on air, he provided us with quality entertainment like this. You know, like the, the White House staff has adapted to Donald Trump's taste. So when everyone else gets water, he gets a Diet Coke. When everybody gets one scoop of ice cream, he gets two. Look, uh, my two children would gladly be president if they could get double the number of scoops of ice cream. So it's actually not a terrible uh, platform to run on. Do you remember Chris Two Scoops, Salisa? Well, sadly, he was part of the latest round of layoffs over there at CNN. What a surprise because in the rare instances they allowed him on air, this was the kind of quality content he contributed. This is who Donald Trump is. This is who Donald Trump is. Th this is Donald Trump. That's what he does. I mean, look, th this is what he does. Th this is who he is. Who he is. This is, you know, I mean, this is him. This is yeah. Donald Trump. This is what Donald Trump does. It's what he does. He literally just can't help himself. It's who he is. It's what he does. Um, you know, <laughs> This is who Donald Trump is. You are who you are, and we know who Donald, Donald Trump, Trump is. is. But, but Donald Trump Donald is Donald Trump. Trump. Twitter Trump is Trump. Trump is Trump. Okay, that's, that's enough. Donald Trump is also Trump Claus. And by the way, tomorrow is the last day that you can order a nice Trump Claus sweatshirt, t-shirt, long sleeve, or hoodie from MarkDice.com and get it in time for Christmas using regular shipping. As you know, I watch CNN so that you don't have to, and I haven't seen Chris Saliza on air for years. And after I read that he had just got fired, I started doing some research because I wondered, well, where the heck has he been this whole time? And it turns out that he was basically CNN's YouTube channel's official YouTuber. Yes, thanks for asking. Those are my real ties behind me. Hey, let's talk taxes. No, not yours or mine, thankfully. That would be terrible. I mean, Donald Trump's taxes. Now, if you know- Notice the corny music, the jump cuts every three seconds, the flashy graphics popping up. This is like an old school YouTuber or a content farm like Buzzfeed with the constant attention reset. So he was literally CNN's YouTuber. I'll play just a few more seconds of this so you can see what it is I subject myself to for you guys. Now, if you know anything about the current president of the United States, it's probably that he's got a lot of money. He says it, well, all the time. You may be wondering why CNN would hire such a moron in the first place, but you gotta remember that CNN caters to morons and they found 1.2 million of them, unsurprisingly, on TikTok, who are following the official CNN TikTok account, where they don't even post original content for TikTok. They just post uh, clips from their television broadcast without even reformatting them into the mobile format. Look at this. <laughs> Who's gonna watch this video on their mobile device? That's a rhetorical question, of course. Morons. And so far, there's 1.2 million of them over there. But surprisingly, CNN's viewers weren't even dumb enough to pay for CNN. Remember, it was earlier this year that CNN Plus, their planned streaming service, shut down <laughs> after just three weeks. And now CNN's sister station, HLN, Headline News, is uh, undergoing some changes, and they're no longer going to be airing live programming. <laughs> it looks like they're going to be simulcasting some of CNN's shows, and then later in the day or in the evening, they're going to air a bunch of crime investigation documentaries. <laughs> Things aren't going so well for BuzzFeed either. They just laid off 12% of their employees, or about 180 of them, which is a good start, I guess. And you may have heard that Don Lemon got demoted from primetime to a morning host. And Fredo got fired. Sadly, Brian Stelter got fired. And that is not funny because we all miss him. And there's going to be a special... Best of Brian Stelter that I'm going to post here just after Christmas, sometime between Christmas and New Year's. So stay tuned for that. All of these changes are happening because a big media conglomerate bought CNN earlier this year. And they're trying to rehabilitate the brand, which would be like trying to take the Jerry Springer show and turn it into a legitimate and serious news show. Why are they even wasting their time and money? CNN is still 100% garbage. The lead story, literally almost every time I tune in at the top of the hour, which I do several times a day, because I'm a media analyst and I watch CNN so that you don't have to, the top stories are still literally about Donald Trump. But word that the network is trying to become more of a centrist network, 
has caused liberals to be upset with them in numerous times over the last few months. The hashtag boycott CNN has trended on Twitter from liberals being upset about the staffing changes. This from Newsweek, boycott CNN calls grow as viewers fear the network is shifting to the right. They're shifting down the drain. None of their shows can get a million viewers. In fact, most of their shows during prime time now have only 500,000 viewers. And not to brag, but I am just a guy in my kitchen on a laptop and my average YouTube video is probably about 270, 280,000 views. And look at this, CNN is even selling merch. <laughs> Anybody wanna buy a CNN hoodie? <laughs> Seriously, this is the CNN official store. <laughs> hey, I'm an Anderson Cooper shirt. <laughs> I may be a little biased, but I like my designs better and by the way tomorrow december 13th is the final day to order anything from my online store at markdice.com and be sure to get it in time for christmas using standard shipping so you better order your trump claws sweatshirt now and stock up on christmas gifts like a climate change shirt let's go brandon shirt my new ultra maga shirt the classic f joe biden liberalism find a care or any of my awesome designs all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. And I've extended the free shipping promo code SANTA through tomorrow. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code SANTA at the checkout to get free shipping through Tuesday, December 13th. And check them out!